Why? Why? Mm. Mm. It was you who didn't care about me? You don't want to marry me? I was going to say yes. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Humano Resource. So we're still doing Love is Blind UK episode 11 this time. Mm -hmm. And you guys, like and subscribe this video. Please. Come on. Other than that, we start with Demi and Oli. Yes. Now I have to say this, you guys. Throughout this whole time, you could see Demi, her demeanor mm -hmm. was saddened. She seems like something, her spirit is not uplifted. But I talk about the bright side of Demi has a very, very lovely family. One yeah. thing I like about her family a lot is they're giving like Maria's family yes. vibe. They're very, very supportive. Or Freddie. Or Freddie. Freddie's family too. And they do this thing which I really love. They know she has the capability of figuring out the issue on her own. So exactly. they provide her just the amount of support she needs. I really like, I like Jasmine's mom. No, don't. <laughs> we travel together. She my best friend. <laughs> you see what it's I mean? A little too much, mommy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And another thing I was going to point out, Demi did a litmus test, guys. She was with her friends at the pub. She told her friends, yeah, we're going to be separated for a while, and I'm going to see how mad he makes an effort. Now she yeah. came back with the results, guys. She said went from 24-7 speaking to not speaking at all. Yeah. Like, this guy ghosted her, for the love of God. And like, I, I feel bad for her. He didn't even try. She even says, just a little things go a long way when you're away from somebody. And I feel like that right there was a conclusion she needed to know that, uh-uh, all is not for me. We kind of knew he wasn't from the beginning. Yeah, of course. Are uh, we going to blame that on his ADHD? Because we got yeah, flagged We definitely time. got flagged. So it's like, oh, girls, oh, you're so insensitive. I'm saying, no, 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 no. He's blaming his bad behavior on his, on, a, on, his, on his medical condition, on ADHD. Watch him when he's around with his boys. Yeah, he's calm, collective, he's paying attention, whatnot. Did you see when he was sitting with, um, what's that girl's name? Catherine? Catherine. Yeah. See how he was? He was like this. Calm, collective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Observing. Yeah. All right. But it was with Demi. He was like. <sighs> yeah, like, get the f*** out of my face. <laughs> So we have Demi walking down the aisle with her father, and when she meets up with Ollie, you guys, this is the part that I was so pissed off at because I wanted to know what's his name, Ollie's answer instead. They asked her, do you want to marry this man? And she answered, no. Why do you know? Why? And that's the part that I was talking about. See how about. scripted it like, is? I, like, the guy's acting like, I wanted to say it. So he wants to be the innocent one. He's like, I was down for this, right? But you're not down for it? Or like, uh, why not? Because probably you ghost me for like a couple of days. Probably that's that. why. It, it, it's, it's more than ghosting. It's just, she's not the woman you want to marry. Yeah, but he's lying to our faces at this point. And then he said, the chapter's closed, but the story's not over. Yeah, that's what Demi said, you know? She said that she has a lot of guy friends, a lot of girlfriends, but sometimes she puts herself in the friend zone. And look at her fears came true, you know? So we have Bobby and Jasmine. And what can I say about this lovely couple? I definitely saw growth in the relationship. Yeah. yeah. I saw an intro, a body, and a conclusion with their story. Loved it. And you see Bobby's whole family. Yeah. I was like, oh my goodness. And they gave me that same Maria Warm. factor. Warm. Very warm, supportive, together. Mm -hmm. I was like, I gotta say, I do. I see it. And then Jasmine, she shares with her friends that I never knew that love doesn't have to be heated, yep. you know, debate mm -hmm. and combative. And yep. she's saying, and that's what I find with Bobby. She finds ease with him. And that's and that's what people need to look for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so they walk down the aisle. The officiant asks Bobby, do you want to take Jasmine as your wife? And he said, of course. Mm -hmm. And Jasmine, vice versa. She said, of course, I would love to marry him. And as they're leaving, guys, this is the part I was like, yes. He stopped and went back to Jasmine's mom and said, I will take good care of your daughter. Yes, and something that Tom, Tom couldn't do. Maria's mom went to Tom and said, I'm going to give you my daughter. Can you treat her with respect? The least you can do is say, you know, I can't marry you, Maria. You know, I love you. And give her that, have that conversation. Then go to the mother and said, Mama, I can't fulfill that. I'm so sorry. Yeah. But I love your daughter. He just walked out of there like a queen. <laughs> you know, but Bobby, on the other hand, he stopped and went to his mom because and said, let me reassure you again. I will support your daughter. Because the and reality, when you think money rules everything, then you're like, <laughs> with uh, what call having a great personality and being a decent <laughs> person, right? Yeah, I'm going to be and well off soon. And I think that is his uh, ways of thinking. So we have Nicole and Benaya, and we see Benaya holding a letter 
from his mother and sister saying that they're not going to attend his wedding, which is sad because they're helping with their granddaddy. Yeah. And then Benaya, his friends came and I said, you know, how are you doing? And he said, there's still some challenges right there. Oh yeah, we know there's a lot of challenges, but you guys don't want to talk about it. Okay. And then his friend said, so how does it feel like living with her? And he was like, oh, I loved it. Because there's running water? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. Like, Benaya, when are you going to grow so up cold. and get your own place? I swear to God. <laughs> and I know we didn't talk about that because we weren't for sure. Like, like I'm still confused. How did you apply to this whole show <laughs> with no address? I'm sorry. Um, but yeah. Oh, my goodness. Do you think he's a moocher? But you know, the thing is, Nicole, there you go. Are you okay with that? Shh. Nicole, girl, come to the front. You know, I don't feel like she listens to the girls when she they speak. She doesn't listen to us. Uh, Nicole. Yeah, I know you want to just get to the altar. Like J-Lo. <laughs> yes. But, honey, who's going to support you? And Benaya ain't talking about that stuff. Can you just burden him with the conversation? Like, we no, don't yeah, nobody's that. having that conversation, isn't it? No. About... Listen, Benaya's living on a prayer, you guys. <laughs> okay? Sure, he has a nice family. Okay, like fine. Family let's get to the, let's get to the results. Nicole and Benaya obviously they walk down the aisle, and the official asked, "Do you want to marry each other?" And they said, "Yes." yes. Uh, and you know what? God bless them. So we have Freddie and Catherine, and we see the couple you guys love because y'all are so protective <laughs> on this heartthrob. Go ahead. <laughs> I think he's becoming famous right now, right? Like he's becoming famous. Um, <laughs> so we see Catherine in her room, and Freddie gave her a lovely gift—a mm -hmm. pair of earrings. <laughs> so you have money, all right? <laughs> but I was so confused. I'm like, is this a parting gift? <laughs> Or is this a gift to match with the ring? Mm -hmm, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, Freddie, like, the line is blurry at this point. We also see Freddie and his sister and his brother talking to him in a, I don't know, in a hallway or something like that. And... The sister says... What does she say, Selma? I got a knot in my stomach. I don't feel like you guys are on different pages. And I know some people are going to say, you know, it's not her business. Why is she saying that to Freddie? Um, as an older sister, right, it is our responsibility to... <laughs> <laughs> to voice our concerns that's what it is like i i don't blame her one bit to say any of that she pr she's protecting her little brother that's what it is and so freddie walks down the aisle with his brother and then Catherine walked down the aisle and they finally see each other and they gave each other a wonderful speech see Catherine knows how to put on a good smile almost like it clogs up your train of thought yeah but freddie has a fantastic smile too which is why his thought never got clogged up. Yeah. <laughs> and then Fishing asked, Catherine, would you like to take Freddie as your husband? And she said, of course. You bought me earrings. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then after they asked Freddie and Freddie said, the timing might not be right for us. And it's correct, you know? Wow. Like about time. And wow. I think he really made the right decision for himself. You know what? I feel like he pulled a family affair, right? With Nicole Kidman and Zac Efron. What? So he gave her the earrings and then they said, deuces, bye. Oh my you know goodness. I, mean? I never watched that, that movie. You never, of course. Yeah. It wasn't a good movie. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a good movie. Personally, uh, but there's one part of the clip guys where I was like, oh my God, thank God he didn't do it. When he was hugging her, she said, do not hug me. So Ice so queen. That whole part just told me she has no mental maturity, of course. capacity to realize things. And after that, guys, Freddie did the thing that Tom could never do. Yeah. He went and he talked to uh, Catherine's family. And he explained it himself. And I think they were very reasonable with him. Mm -hmm. I think they deep down inside... They get it. No. They know. They said, okay, Freddie, we know Catherine. Okay, we raised her. Mm -hmm. And then he went back to Catherine. And now she before, was devastated, yeah. emotional. But, it, like, I feel like that was for show sometimes uh, on her part. Mm -hmm. uh, because, listen, Catherine, even you had doubts, right? Yeah. You even had doubts. Even as she said that, she said, oh, my God, like, he embarrassed me. So she's yeah. still, she's not thinking about the big picture. She's looking at the, the moment. Genome, the yeah. moment, yeah. And um, at least you got earrings, so... <laughs> So here you have it, guys. Yeah. The end of Love is Blind, UK season one. Yes. The married couples are Stephen and Serena, Nicole mm -hmm. and Benaya, and Jasmine and Bobby. And the ones that didn't make it, Tom Maria, Freddie and Catherine. And Demi and Ollie. And Demi and Ollie. So what do you guys think about the married couples? Um. Okay, so should we give our predictions? Who's going to st still be married? Yeah. I think Jasmine and Bobby are going to be still married. 100%. They have an authentic friendship between each other. And also as lovers. Plus, notice, I feel like they know how to communicate yes. their challenges mm -hmm. and their difficulties. They know how to communicate. Because they had those conversations. That's mm -hmm. what it is. But I don't. I never saw 
Sabrina, Sabrina and, and Steven. Steven. No, I haven't seen a bump. I haven't seen them, you know, argue with each other. Um, like, I never one of the friends brought up about, um, oh, you guys live in several places. He was just like, okay, well, I'm going to be living in London, live in Belfast, and we're going to kind of keep it like that. I feel like they were avoiding... Yeah, the hard conversations. And, yeah. you know, I feel like that's going to happen between each other, and it's not going to look good. How about Nicole and Benaya? I, I, you know what? Let me say this. I hope it does work out. Yeah. But I don't think so. Um, I, but I might be wrong. The thing is, I like Nicole and Benaya as individuals. I think yes. they, I think especially in social settings, I think they're so easy to get along with. But I feel like um, Nicole held back a lot, mm -hmm. and she wanted to avoid anything that could come up. And Benaya, I just feel like ever since hearing that he haven't gone to a relationship for eleven years, and I'm like, well, hold on now. Because he was living his best life, being homeless, uh, living on a prayer. Um, I don't know, drinking so, water from a lake. So like, I don't. Uh, so I don't know. I honestly don't know if they're gonna make it up. Uh, so who do you think is going to be in a new relationship? Ooh, probably Catherine. With, Catherine with Sam. No, listen, I, thank God that Sam guy was a walking red flag. Ooh. I know for sure Tom is still single. I think about this one though. Because of how Tom is, his personality, mm -hmm. especially the way he walked out to me, he never wants to be embarrassed. So I feel like he's going to get a girlfriend in the meantime mm -hmm. for the filming. So you can just say, oh, I I'm in a relationship with somebody. I'm not the toxic one. Now, do you think he went back to Tosh, right? Tasha? Tasha? I don't even know her name is. Um, no. You don't think so? No, no, no. Even no. though she says, I love you. No, 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 no. So I truly believe Tom was there to get to catch the bag. Yeah. And he got the bag. And Ooh. I feel like he's going to get into a relationship just so that the filming of the reunion, he can say, yeah, I have somebody. I'm not toxic. And, yeah, and, he's, <laughs> and he's probably, they're probably just dating for a month. For, for, literally, I would ask. I swear, I swear, if I was there, I'd say, and how long have you been dating this girl? <laughs> yeah. He's like, uh, last week. Yeah, I thought so. How long are you going to stay with her? After the show ends. I know. The minute she does 50-50. Yeah. yeah, and Maria might have been in a relationship. I think Maria might be in a relationship, but I feel like she's such a confident woman. Mm -hmm. And she's so secured in herself. And her values, I think, so are mint. So she can be in a relationship or not. Ain't nobody stressing for her. So, you guys, that's the end of our review. You guys, please like and subscribe this video. And catch us on the reunion. Yes!